back in a new present. The delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. But I'm still thinking about Lynn. I wonder if she's still wanting for her chicken to be served. Waiting for her chicken to be served. I decided to go see her. See her and ask her the questions that will that that are that were still consuming me. Trick time. Because when we use our mind and we take our time, we can do anything that we wanna do. Can't really go anywhere. Thank you. Bloop, 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 bloop. Huh, what was that? Uh, la 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 la. There we go. What? I just got. It's a phone line to the other room, man. This disastrous accident has been completely erased. Once again, I saved the redhead detective from death. Saved Lynn, the criminal who stole my life. One question in particular hangs heavy on my mind. Why did she shoot me? Until I know the answer, I'll never be satisfied. Ah! Ah! Look at her! Nom nom nom! Meanwhile, Lynn's appetite is apparently foremost in her mind. A golden brown chicken sits on her table in front of her. Until she eats the whole thing, she'll probably never be dissatisfied. That is terrible. That is bad for you. Even I can't even big I can't even eat a, a, eat a chicken like that and kill myself. All right, maybe I need to take a ride on some with the girl. <sighs> oh, I didn't know you were here, Detective Ranch. Come to see me, did you? Oh, that's that's mighty sweet of you. Oh, hi, Memory. Don't don't mind us. Just pretend we're not here. Why don't you try some chicken, Maya? He. No thanks. Just watching Lynn eat is quite enough for me. So, why did it did it turn out with my ladybug? Oh, the listening device. Well, let's see. I thought the gentleman had a very nice singing voice. Sorry, but we're in the middle of an important talk. Could you leave us all leave us to it? But you guys are are the ones who called me over, huh? Odd girl. I agree. Me too. How the hey hey am I supposed to get over there? Am I literally supposed to call over again? There's nothing I could possibly do. They're still there. Dude's still infatuated with his glasses. In fact, I can't go into her or anything. I can't reach that. Did you decide you want some chicken? Or me, after all? We didn't call you. Wait a minute, is that you, Sissel? There's a good detective. She figured it out. If you're coming over there, don't forget you have to ring the bell three times. Um, what are you talking about? Never mind, it's not important. Yeah, pay no attention to us. We're not even here. I'll make you notice me someday, detective. You'll see. What does this girl want? Everyone's dick or something? Like, what the hell? Odd girl. I agree. Me too. Am I supposed to do that until something happens? Can you go pick me up, girl? Oh, I gotta ring it three times! I've, I've only rang it like twice. Alright, hold on. There we go, three times. She has a picture now. Ah! 
What? I'm supposed to get into the picture, dummy. I got gotcha. you. No! Yes. <clears throat> no, stay right there! Oh, dang. Huh? I, I'm in a crucial moment with the chicken here. I'll need you to pour me some water if it starts going down wrong. Lin, you don't have to risk your life over chicken, you know. He's right. Looking at her attacking that thing. Anyway, I better move now while I have the chance. What am I gonna move to? This? And... Huh, that's funny. Even though I saved the detective, he doesn't have a core. Not like the one Lin has, or the valiant little doggy missile. I thought the ones I saved were supposed to develop a core when they're alive again. I guess I'll still have to learn these uh, powers of the dead. Well, I'm heading back. Lots of things to do, you know. Yeah, like washing dishes and planting bugs. Someday I'll plan a big one on you, detective! Hmm. Silly girl. <clears throat> Listen, Lin. You explained your side, and I understand, but there's an APB out on you. Can you at least hurry up and get out of here? You know, slip away quietly? No can do. I'm meeting somebody here. Meeting somebody? Oh yeah, that's right. That little lady Camellia. Why do you have- But why do you have to meet somebody here? The special investigation unit is watching the restaurant now. How can that be a coincidence? I don't know, but it is a coincidence. Hey, is it true what they say? That you're still looking into Detective Job's case on your own? Inspector Cabanella is worried about you, you know. I understand how you feel, but just don't do anything crazy, okay? Alright, time to talk to her, I guess. Oh, dummy. I didn't go inside of her. Whee! So how's that chicken you've been waiting so long for? It's great! But you know... With Detective Ridge, that's his name, by the way, sitting across from me. I mean, he was just dead a few moments ago, right? That kind of... That's kind of taking the edge off my appetite. Oh, bother. Was he winning the poo? Oh, bother. He's a great guy. He understands my situation, he said. He's going to give me a passport tonight. Speaking of Detective Ridge, I noticed something strange. He doesn't have a core now. He doesn't? I thought a core was supposed to show up once I saved somebody. Hmm, I wonder if... When he possessed his corpse, he was unconscious, right? Conscious, yeah. He was, wasn't he? Just like you, you were unconscious the first time I saved you too. And after I saved you, you didn't have a core either. So for people who are who are unconscious when you save them, no core show up. I think that's probably what it is. Yeah, yeah, okay. You must be right. Okay, I'll leave Rich to you then. But I, <laughs> but I still have lots of questions for you. Yeah, I thought you would. Let's get started then. So many questions. Why is your connection- what is your connection with prisoner D-99, Detective Jowd? He seems more like than just a co-worker. Yep, I suppose you have the right to know. Detective Jowd is my hero. Hero, huh? You didn't hear that word in much anymore. Well, it's an old-fashioned heroic kind of story. It happened ten years ago. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. On that day, ten years ago, I was playing in my favorite park. And then suddenly, somebody grabbed my arm from behind. I was so scared, I... I thought I was going to die. And then... He appeared. Detective Jowd. Or Jod. 
And then that really loud sound. I think it was the sound of a gun. I passed out. When I came to. You're all right now, aren't you? You, you saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> so that's why you became a detective, huh? That's right. He was my ideal, uh, was my, I, my ideal of what a detective was all about. But an idea, ideal detective doesn't shoot and kill his own wife. Exactly. And that's why I want to prove that, that he did it. Did he forget that what he thinks she could actually read too? Dummy. Point X. Detective Fringe works for the Special Inf Investigation Unit. He said an important deal is to set to go down here tonight at this restaurant. A deal that could affect the future. <gasps> Excuse me. The future of our nation. A nation isn't something that easily influenced, though. <gasps> Excuse me. I have the hiccups, man. That's <laughs> I actually cut the video because I, I went upstairs to go to water and hold my breath and my hiccups are going crazy. But that's what he said. Anyway, it's that couple at the table upstairs. I hear they're foreigners. They're waiting for another party in, the, in this deal to show up now. Those two, huh? They certainly are not a pair. They're probably waiting for Cecil. Cecil. Is this other party? They're waiting for me? It's kind of hard to imagine, isn't it? Nobody really knows any of the details of this of this deal except for one person. Cabanella. Mr. Breezy Dancer in a white suit. They say he's been watching the movements of those two for a long time. I've never seen him work so frantically on the investigation before. Inspector Cavanella, huh? Apparently, you're a real favorite of his. A favorite? Yes, well, there, there's a reason for that. And what's that? He's my pop-pop. <laughs> Faja. Inspector Cabanella and Detective Child were good friends. Well, yeah, that was, uh, that was implied or hinted at. Uh, when we were over there in the prison. Yeah, I think I remember the prison guard saying something about that. They joined the detective division the very same day. They're two very different types, but they were always in friendly competition to be the best. Detective Jowd was always very uh, particular about, about thorough investigation of the crime scene. And Inspector Cabanella, well, I guess he just has a natural genius for investigation. Anyway, those two two led the detective division in those days, lead those detective divisions in those days. Good thing I don't remember what it said, because I clicked it off. But Inspector Cabanella is different now. He changed a little. He changed? Ever since the Detective Jowd incident, now, his dis now he distanced himself from field work. And he's starting to focus on nothing but moving up the ladder. Huh. So, pff, God damn it! What the hell did he say? There's no back button. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, whatever. Cause you were the little girl he, uh, his good friend saved, huh? He really lo looked out for me, helping my study for my detective exams. Fudging my exam score for me? Oh no. Uh, that goes a little beyond the scope of looking out for you. Inspector Cabanella, huh? I wonder what the role he's playing is everything that's happening tonight. Fucking idiot. I'm an idiot! I'm sure it's taking Camila long enough. She said she'd be here by now. I'm getting really worried. 
You two are like, like sisters, aren't you? That's what Camellia said. Yep, that just about sums it up. It doesn't look like being worried affected your appetite much, though. Hey, the bigger the crisis, the more girls gotta eat. I have to make sure Camellia stays safe, no matter what. Camellia and the music box, too. Music box? Oh yeah, the wooden box? Da, 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 da. The box was present from uh, was a present from Detective Jowd. Or Jod. I keep thinking it's Jod, but it's no A there. From Detective Jowd? Yes, it was five years ago. The box arrived three days after the murder incident. He must have sent it just before he was arrested. Someday, when the case is over and everything is settled, I want you to give this person give this to a certain person, he said. So what's inside? I don't know, I can't open it. Ah, that's a shame. Cecil, did I really shoot you? Where did that come from? Uh, why did where did that come from? Out of the blue? I really don't remember. I've tried and tried, but I just can't. Now I finally understand how you must feel. And how hard it is to have your memory gone, your story erased. But who knows? Knowing that truth might be even harder. I rather believe there's hoping hope myself. was great. Do I have chicken on my face? You're staring. I bet you're thinking about how impressed you are with the way I took care of that chicken. Just tell me one thing. The case you say you're looking into. Is it Detective Jowd's? What if it was? I, I can't keep it from you. It's too cruel. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Lin. It's... it's tonight. Detective Jowd's, uh... You know. It's tonight. His execution. But there's still time. I looked into it and found out all the executions in this country are carried out at dawn. That may be the norm, but... Not this time, I'm afraid. What? The execution is set for 11 p.m. What? That's an hour from now, bro. It's going to happen pretty soon. Is there anything we could do to stop it? Of course not. It's 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 too late now. Not without a stay stay of execution from the justice minister. I'm going to go see him then. What? See who? Who else? The justice minister. Don't be ridiculous. That's not enough time. I'm going! Cecil? Me? Get to the prison! Stop the execution! Easy enough for you to say. Detective Fringe, I'll be going now. Okay, I'll let you go this time. I'll tell him I was distracted because I was eating chicken. Is there anything else I can do? Did you find Camellia? She's supposed to be here. Uh, she's supposed to be on her way here. Oh, you're a little Camellia? Okay, you've got it. I'll look out for her. Okay, you know what to do, Cecil. You, should, you, you have to say Detective Jowd! She's just screaming things and this guy's like confused. I was like, what? The life of yet another person is connected to somehow... Connected somehow is about to end tonight. Could it be a coincidence? Or is there something more behind it all? Detective Jowd is, uh... Destined to be ex executed tonight. I don't know if that fate is the wrong one for him or the right one. But I've decided to go to the person anyway. <sighs> a bunch of intensity, but I've been recording for an hour and a half, so I need a break. <laughs> Save the data.